Hello, my Kameraden. PGU History here, and today I'm gonna be showing off my Bundeswehr impression from 1973 all the way to the year 1976, or the early 70s, so let's get started. So, uh, the Bundeswehr, or fat war in English simpl simplified as federal defense is the was the army of West Germany and the Bundesrepublik Deutschland or Federal Republic of Germany which still exists to this day in unified Germany and the Bundeswehr also still exists and the Bundeswehr was made in order to protect themselves against the Soviets and the Deutsche Demokratische Republik, or the German Democratic Republic in English, so, yeah. And this will be a uniform to portray, to portray them in the early 70s and what they looked like. So, as you can see, the, um... Let's start off with the BDU real quick. The BDU is a moleskin with the uh, two German uh, flags insignia on the top shoulders, right here, on both sides, by the way. And there would also, on the jacket, there would also be a name tag. I did not put a name tag right here because it takes some time to be made so but if I were to put one there I put one there with my Germanized last name aka Viva so yeah that's a little introduction with the type of BDU this uh, jacket here was made in 1975 which you know and there would be uh, buttons right here, but they're not there for some reason. Oh no. But the pants right here. The pants was made in 1990. Or something like that, I don't know. Which is a bit inaccurate from the date, but forget about that. <laughs> and looking at the uh, boots, these are... Uh, these are black boots, not brown ones, as they should be. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they were supposed. Maybe they were blacks. Maybe they were brown. I don't know yet. But they're U.S. Army issued, so I don't know. And uh, the gear here are all, you know, all these gear that I'm wearing was issued in the mid-60s and to replace the older gear from the late 50s or early 60s. So yeah, starting off with the gear, these are the G3 mag pouches. This one, for some reason, this one is like made of vinyl right here. And this one's made of rubber. I don't know. I kind of wanted it all to match, but who? But I don't know. Speaking of uh, guns, guns. For weaponry, we have the uh, the G3. This is an airsoft G3, a G3 A3, which is the rifle commonly used by the Bundeswehr in the 1970s introduced in the 1950s and would be used all the way up till the 1990s when it was replaced by the G36 which yeah I plan on like making this uh, orange tippy black so yeah and going back here these are the white straps right here that connect my uh, Suspenders. Yeah, there's suspenders. They just they're just like the World War II German suspenders. You know? But at the back, um, there would be like this clip where you attach the uh, suspender to that 
uh, metal clip, but I don't have it yet. Going away from the gear for a while for the helmet is the, um, these, this is the U.S., um, like, uh, M1 helmet, which is, which was used by the Bundeswehr. You know, they just were having, like, you know, U.S.-style helmets, like, using M1 helmets and would be Stahelms, basically. Um, but the helmets used by the uh, Bundesgrenzschutz, or Federal Border Service, would they be reissued with uh, M35 helmets. And, yeah. And for the, there is a field cap. They also have a field cap, which is similar to World War II ones, by the way. This one was made in November 1975, and and would have like a cockade right here, a uh, black, uh, red, and gold, or Schwarzwald gold uh, cockade right here, which is pretty cool. Makes me, you know, pretty cool. And was used by the uh, army outside the, you know, helmets or overseas or garrison caps, stuff like that. And going back to gear, right here is the gas mask bag, which was introduced, which, you know, was introduced in the 1960s. Um, the re there would be a handle right here. There'd be like a toggle, but that apparently that got broken off somehow when I when it arrived. I don't know, but yeah, yeah, it got broken off somehow. Probably before. I don't know. Back to the gear. Back here you have the uh, red bag with the, you know, 60s issue canteen. Uh, you know, with the hook right in the back of the canteen here. You can really easy to draw. It kind of, it is like a mess kit, the canteen, but you can open, you open this here. There we go. You can like put water. It's like a canteen and a mess kit into one. So, yeah, you can put water in here whenever you get done with a training or something. For, you know, protect yourself from the August heat strokes, stuff like that. So, yeah. And moving on, back here you have the uh, inventing tool, with the, which was started to be issued in the 1950s actually. I don't know when this uh, shovel cover was made, but the, um, but the inventing tool was made, I bought off Amazon. I, I couldn't find a cheaper original for, you know, so I bought this one off Am I bought the entrenchy tool off Amazon for about thirty dollars or something. Made by Miltech along with the bread bag. Bread bags also made by Miltech. Other than all of those, everything else is original. Well the helmet, um I bought that off Hessen Antique for cheap price and the canteen, you know. Is this is a nineteen sixties canteen, so you want to drink water out of that, you gotta sterilize that, so... Yeah. Just put 
focus on back here. Or we can continue. So yeah. Um, there was also a backpack that soldiers would wear. You know? But those later fell out of style in the 19 set in the mid 60s or something so yeah anyway let just get this right here so that's I think that's it for this video of the early 70s uh, Bundesliga impression um, if there is any mistakes I made about this, leave them in the, in the comments below. So, yeah. Thank y'all for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, join my Discord server. Subscribe to my main channel, Power Gaming U. This has been, this has been PGU History. Und auf Wiedersehen.